MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Houston Astros. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. He will lead this one off today. First offering on its way. And we get things started here with a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2-0 now. 2 high. And it's 3-0. On deck, the lefty Robinson Cano. And that one misses as well. So it's a poor start here this afternoon as it's a four-pitch walk to get things going. In now, Robinson Cano. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Comes set. Now the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher... And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. And that's the first out. And he's safe. Here's Carlos Santana now. Batting third. The third baseman. Carlos Santana. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tap down the line. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And there's a base hit, and the Tribe are going to strike first in this one. It's one to nothing. That is four. The catcher, Kyle Schwarber. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. This is pulled into right, and that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. That is four. The center fielder, Aaron Pitt. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks rolled slowly down the third baseline. Santana on third. Schwarber is over at second with one down in the inning. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep, gone. And that one had some extra distance. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt Olson. And that's down into left center for a base hit. That is seven. The designated hitter. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about... Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. Batting game. In now is Adam Eaton. Adam as he lifts it in the air to right field. And the Tribe keep it rolling as this will be extra bases again. Around second now and headed for third. And he will make it in at third. He's got himself a one-out triple. Batting nuts. 
So now to the plate, Oscar Mercado, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Looking to kick the extra point here, if you will, and make this a seven-run inning. A 2-0 count to the Indians' left fielder. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. After it is Brantley. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end. Here comes the second baseman, Jose Altuve, to get things kicked off in the home half of inning number one. The second baseman. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit weakly back to the mound. No problem here. One away. Next up for the Strohs, George Springer, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. One out, nobody on. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Hicks. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So digging in now, Jordan Alvarez. First pitch on its way. Alvarez. And right into the shift. But this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1 and 2. Lester's ready. Here it comes. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Here's Robbie Cano now. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Digging in for his second at-bat, Carlos Santana. Looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And an off-line throw, but a good tag this time to get his man anyway. So next it'll be the four-hole hitter for the Tribe, Kyle Schwarber. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and one to Schwarber. Two and one. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. All even now, two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Once again, a 3-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Ah, 
on the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Alex Bregman, to match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Into the box now, Michael Brantley will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Again, another foul ball. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Striding in for the Indians, Aaron Hicks. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Most good breaking ball hitters will hit good breaking balls. And that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch that was down in the zone. And he handled it really nice. The wind up and the 0 1. Great pitch right there. As a pitcher, you don't want hitters to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That pitch in now might set up some pitch outside. Two and one the count. Now the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. He's right there. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one man gone for Cleveland here in the third. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman Matt Olson. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Let's see what they throw Olsen on a three and one count. Fran Moraes waits on deck. And the 3-1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that'll stay in the park as it's off the center field wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that designated hit from Neil Williams. At the plate, Fran Moraes. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Come set, now the pitch. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And another foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw gets him, two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adam Eaton. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. 
Eaton is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And then today, and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's eight to nothing. Now that left field into the box, Oscar Mercado, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it, and that's the third out. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. For the Astros, the first baseman, Yuli FG. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. Now the first pitch here from Lester. Chopped down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. Batting it. The designated hitter. Right there. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Fouled away. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Right side. Scooped up. Hernandez at second. On to first, and they get the double play. Into the box, Martin Maldonado. The captain. Martin Maldonado. Lester gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball just inside. Let's it fly 2 0, but this one's by him for the first strike. Now here's the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. The batter, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First pitch on its way. And right into the shift. Guriel picks it up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Striding in, Robinson Cano. He was a ground out victim last time up. Cano waits on the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now batter, third so now Carlos Santana as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 it's really hard to match up this poor performance when you dive into the numbers this guy's thrown over 80 percent of his first pitches for strikes and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Stepping in, George Springer. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Hey. The ball and two strikes. 
Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. The left fielder, number 44, Jordan Alvarez. Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. As Lester jumps ahead of him here with strike one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. And now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Springer isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He's in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. And that'll bring up Alex Brickman. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Eaton is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first. And so here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Kyle Warber. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Line drive base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. At the plate now, Aaron Hicks. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's one for two in this one. Strike two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The 0-2 home. On the ground to the right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. One man out now in the Cleveland fifth. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman Matt Olson. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Eight runs and even 10 hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Bounce to first. And he is out on the tag. Late now is the designated hitter, Fran Reyes. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Altuve to his right. He has it. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Standing in, Michael Brantley. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. And he missed with it. It's one and two. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in, Yuli Gurriel. One for one after a single his first time up. Liner towards second. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And that brings up the former gold lover, Josh Reddick. First pitch on its way. 
lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. Now batting. Standing in now, Martin Maldonado. As they'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Look out, 2-0 oh now. He's got to find a way to grab some composure out there and not let this inning get away from him. He was dominating. And now he goes out and gives up a two-out single and then almost drills a guy. Get back in the zone. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now so it's back to the top of the order now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here comes the first pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Lester sets. 0-2 pitch on its way. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And he'll be tagged out heading toward the plate. And with that... Leading off with Adam Eaton digging in Number next. Two. As he'll Adam. take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Hit down the line at first. Guriel brings it in. The tag, and he is out. Now to the plate, Oscar Mercado comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Knuckle curve there off the outside corner, 2 and 0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. A swing and a miss there, two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. The batter, number Now ten. back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. George Springer, the next to hit. And it's fouled away. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swings through it for strike number two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Brings it in, standing inside the coach's box for out number one. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Jordan Alvarez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. No balls in one strike going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And right into the shift. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Grounded to third. Santana's got it. Rowanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the... Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. First pitch on its way. Robinson... In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Mm, and he'll just watch that knuckle curve. 1-1. One and one. Ground ball right side. Straight into the shift. 
And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. In now for Cleveland, Carlos Santana. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Now back, Captain Kyle. So now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hit hard on the ground to second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Now back, the center fielder. To the plate now, Aaron Hicks. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, you've got a runner in scoring position. It only takes one. I know he was out in front on that off-speed pitch right there, but this pitcher cannot get cute and leave something over the heart of the plate. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now battle. That'll bring up the power hitter, yeah. Matt Olson. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And that swung on and missed for strike one. behind 0-2 now. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Good Nearly fly. got the inside, but ruled the ball. He started this guy backwards. Couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back. A swing and a miss. Ladies that and retires the side, and the that will do it. So stepping in, Carlos Correa will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll flip it over to Lester for the out. Now batting, Michael Brantley. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher the tries to pitch, rush a heater right 10, here. Lester's ready. Here Three comes the down. first pitch. Now Lester's 0-1. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. High chopper to third. Reined in. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Next will be the designated hitter, Fran Reyes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Reyes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. High in the air out towards shallow right. After it is Brantley. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Adam Eaton. Two for three for him so far, including a triple. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. Two down. 
now digging in Oscar Mercado he's a silver player best known for his legs if he gets on he's likely to cause trouble on the base paths grounded to short fielded cleanly throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired so here's Josh Reddick, one for two on his line so far in the game. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Now here it comes. Line drive to center field. And the ball is dropped. Runner at first following the error. Now and that that'll bring catcher. in the veteran catcher, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. A ball and no strikes. No runs on six hits. One error so far for the Astros. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back. Second here's the base second base. baseman, Jose Altuve. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Sent on the ground out to second. Hernandez at second. Relay to Olsen, and they turn the double play. Here's George Springer, runner in scoring position with Sugar. Lester sets. Here's the first pitch. Owen won the count. Men on third with two down. Popped him up. Schwarber waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. First offering on its way. Hernandez. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Cold strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Now here it comes. Rip down the first base line. Guriel scoops it up, and he is out on the tag. Robinson Cano the next to dig in. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this is low ball one. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Alvarez is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now batter. At the plate, Carlos Santana. He singled his last time up. Out in front of it, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Now at the plate, Jordan Alvarez is working on a one for three thus far. Jordan. First delivery to him on the way. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. Talent. 
pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is skied into short left center. Hernandez onto the grass, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The batter, number one, good stop, Carlos Gorbea. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Here's Carlos Correa now. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A ball and a strike. One and one. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Runner at first here, one man out. Ball two and two. two. Full count now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hit on the ground to short. To second, there's Cano. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout, this guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 8 nothing. the final today. The Tribe came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. John Lester is credited with the win. Lance McCullers the slap with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Eight runs on 13.